Good morning. Let's go to uh, Jackson, Mississippi. It is 6.17 in the morning. We have a six and a half hour drive to Jackson, Mississippi to get us about halfway to our final destination, Dothan, Alabama. If we're lucky, we're gonna get to play the host of the Sanderson Farms Championship, the Country Club of Jackson. So let's go do that. I figure there's a chance you might be wondering what happened to my clubs in the last week. I called the police station, still don't have much. Um, they have a list of my clubs now and they have a list of suspects, and the guy that they got into custody is still not talking. If you are watching this and you happen to be a member of a bunch of Scotty Cameron boards, it would mean a lot to me if you looked out for this putter right here. Uh, it's my Scotty Cameron Newport from 2010. Dot on the top flange, name on the toe, initials on the heel, red Lambkin deep edge grip. Of course, they could replace the grip, but the stamping's not going anywhere. So if you see this putter, please let me know. DM me on Instagram. Uh, Instagram handle is in the description. Uh, as far as everything else goes, I want to give a big shout out to Tony, Max, Bill, um, Ian Fraser from TXG, got, uh, Travis from Fujikura, Jason Landry from UST, Will from Voice Caddy, and uh, Ryan from Bushnell for hooking it up. They have uh, pretty much replaced everything in my bag. The GoFundMe, uh, it's at it was at like what was it J over five grand last time we looked at it. I think it's at like fifty seven hundred dollars now. Uh, almost all of that money is going to the first tee. I said, you know, whatever money I have to pay to replace my clubs, I will. Um, fortunately, I'm going to be able to use like all, reuse a whole bunch of parts that people are sending me, like the people I just shouted out. All of them are really responsible for putting together my new bag. All that stuff is with my club builder right now. He's putting all that together. Um, the one thing I wasn't able to replace is the uh, Titleist Vokey Low Bounce K wedge. <clears throat> Titleist was not able to replace any of my uh, stuff that was stolen, so we're relying on people from the internet. And Titleist, the one thing that I wasn't able to find that uh, Titleist wasn't able to give me uh, was a was a low bounce K wedge. So I spent $142 replacing my wedge, and that's it. All the rest of the money is going to the first tee. So that's awesome. Thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you to everybody who's helped me put a bag back together. All that money is going to the first tee. So excited about that. Um, yeah, let's keep, if, if you want to keep going, keep donating to the first tee, all that money is going to go, or keep donating to the GoFundMe. The link is in the description. All the money is going to go to that. And uh, yeah, things have been amazing so far. Thank you guys for making this such a beneficial opportunity for the kids of Kansas City or whatever chapter this first tee money ends up going to. Back to the video. It's 940. We are over, just over halfway done with the drive and i have burned through everything i wanted to listen to and this is usually like when i go on a long drive i i kind of get caught up in like when i'm halfway there i think about how long ago i started driving and i think i gotta do that again i need things to listen to i have an audiobook that i'm not interested in but i might just have to power through it i'll keep you updated Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's, it's enough slicing! There's a long, challenging golf course, really good prep for Q School. Dothan's about a 7,500 yard golf course, pretty challenging, same thing here at CCJ, so great, great prep. We are out at Country Club of Jackson, the host of the Sanderson Farms Championship. And today, we're gonna do a little bruiser video. We're playing the hardest hole and the number one handicap hole. And this year is the number one handicap, and we're getting all of it today. We're straight into the wind. It's about a 470 yard dog leg left par four. It's the first real bit of teeth this course has shown us, so we need to buckle down here and hit a good one. I'm gonna try to hit a low draw down this uh, open part of the fairway, kind of try to get it around the corner. A little lower than I wanted, but it'll work. 
You gotta love accidentally heel thinning one into the wind because it just gets right under it. Perfect ball flight. This wasn't my best tee shot ever, but it is. Uh, it was the correct miss to have at the correct time. Unfortunately, because I hit it so poorly into the wind, now I have a 187 yard shot playing right around 195. I'm going to need to hit a solid well, not super solid. We got, what, a straight crosswind. If I hit, actually, I'm going to hit a seven iron. Just a smooth seven, kind of a little bit right of it. Let it fall onto the flag. It should actually be just about perfect. 195, smooth seven. Yeah, that's perfect. Might have to hit this a little higher than normal. Yeah, I'm, I'll just go. I'll get out of your way. Aim a little bit right of the flag. High draw. Be the number. Sit on it. All right, that'll work. We got a little birdie putt up coming. Oh my. Do it. Oh my. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right, we got a little downhill left to righter. Last thing I want to do here is blow this by, but I also don't want to give up a chance to add a birdie to the final score of this thing. So we're going to give it a good roll. I would ask Michael to help me read this, but I'm a man of integrity. Do it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I think the internet's probably gonna want me to knock this in. Right there. Okay. And I've been told that this is the this is the hardest hole on the course. It just so happens to be the number two handicap hole. And it is giving me a whole lot of challenges today. This today is a 475-ish yard dog leg left par four. Got a bunker 313 out, so I might have to contend with that given that this is into the wind and water runs all the way up the left side. This is gonna be a fun one for sure. Gonna lock in at 463 yards. Even though that's crow's fly, I'm probably giving up a couple yards, but you know, it's fine. Now I'm gonna start one at that bridge just down the middle of the fairway. Try to get this thing to draw back a little bit. Oh, I blow this way out to the right. Hang on, ball. And I caught some tree, it sounds like. You know, I hate to be an excuses guy, but I gotta figure out a different place for this mic. Because <laughs> as I come back, when I pinch the microphone between my shoulder and my chin, it's uh, a little bit distracting, I'm not gonna lie. So we're, we're gonna have to figure out a better way to deal with this microphone. Not the reason I hit a bad shot, but it certainly didn't help. Let's go find that ball and hit it again, try to save par, shall we? Maybe even make birdie. Why are we taking birdie out of the equation? Oh goodness. Not very good here, folks. We're gonna have to do something a little creative, I believe. Interesting angle to capture this shot. You can see the flag is right there. My ball is right here. Um, if I want to get this thing on the green, I'm gonna have to start it like way out into the marsh and get it to cut back. The only thing I'm concerned about is this tree root up here. The last thing I wanna do is hurt myself before Q school. <sighs> Might just have to take my medicine here, folks. I don't think I'm, uh... I mean, let me take a couple practice swings, see how it feels. I've got 192 yards. You know, if I can get a six iron on this, with a whole lot of cut. As long as I can get this up like near the green, right like right of the pin, I think I should be in pretty good shape. So if I can, nah, that's, no, nah, that, I'm hitting this tree stump. I can't justify that. Cannot justify that. I'm just gonna take my medicine here. You don't wanna do something stupid when you play golf for a living. If this were in a tournament, I would consider it, but Sorry guys, I'm just not gonna do it for the video. Get to the fairway, come on. Got scared of the tree stump and just 
stuck it in the ground. All right, we're probably got about 150 yards. Try to get up and down for par. A little bit of a jumper lie, it looks like, and a straight crosswind. So I'm gonna hit a choke down pitching wedge here. Just a regular stock shot. Got about 144 yards here. I'm just gonna take a little choke down pitching wedge. Bit of a crosswind. Uh, maybe a smooth pitching wedge. Start this thing a little bit left of the flag. Let it cut back with the wind. Just a little right of it. Go a little bit. It's just on the front of the green. Maybe a little short of pin high. And it's looking dicey to save par here, folks. Might have to make a long one. Release. Good one there, Michael. Yep. What a shot. Oh, wow. What a shot. Look at this dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. Doc, two putts in there, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> Dana here is going to give me a line, so. which I can, I, so. I very much appreciate. Line. Oh, what a line. Oh, good putt. Ooh. Dana's got a greens book, obviously. He stays up at night studying it, too. So this thing's gonna move a little bit from right to left. We got a lot of work to do here if we're gonna keep this thing bogey free, folks. Obviously playing the hardest holes on every course I go to, I'm gonna make a couple bogeys, but would like to save a shot whenever possible. Let's knock this thing in. Oh, did I hammer it? Not bad. I didn't get my lag putt inside of Eric's bunker shot. That's tough. Thanks. Now that was a bogey, folks. During my round at uh, Country Club Jackson, one of the guys I was playing with, um, Michael actually offered to let me stay with him at uh, his in his guest house. And you can see here, this guest house is absolutely beautiful. Just big shout out to the guys I got paired with today. It turned out to be some amazing guys. Got Dana, Jet, Eric, and Michael. And thank you guys so much for your hospitality. They took me out to dinner afterwards. It was delicious. Um, at Tico Steakhouse, shout out to Tico Steakhouse. Tico actually gave me a hat. Shout out to Tico for that as well. Hat was very cool. And um, yeah, I mean, when you meet guys like that when you're on the road, it just makes the whole experience a lot easier to go through. So shout out to those guys. And hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't stop meeting guys like Eric, Jet, Dana, and Michael. Shout out to you guys. And uh, hopefully I make it back to Jackson for the Sanderson Farms in the next year or so. Next time I upload a video to YouTube will be when I upload my Q School video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Subscribe, hit the, hit the bell so you don't miss it. I'm very excited to show you guys that video. If you don't know what happened, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to spoil it if you want to be surprised. Don't spoil it in the comments either. Um, yeah, subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see you guys that next time. If you want some personalized advice on your game, you know where to go. Link, it, link is in the description of this video. Subscribe to Patreon. Like the video. Goodbye.